Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, uh, quickly, uh, one topic I wanted to cover today that uh, how to design singleton pattern. It's a very famous interview question these days and uh, for designing the framework as well. Uh, so different types of frameworks that we have seen that page object model series we have seen with respect to that we have to create one base class in which we have to initialize a web driver and everything. So we have one more design pattern that is called singleton design pattern. So singleton means that you just need to create the one object of this class and that's it. So singleton pattern won't allow you to create multiple objects of the same class. So there are a lot of advantages that single driver okay, will be maintained or single uh, object will be maintained throughout the execution. It won't create any new object. It won't allow you to create a new object. So it's a very simple design pattern. It's a very famous and you can use in your project as well. So we will see how can you use the same concept in Selene WebDriver also. Okay, so let's start. So I have already created one singleton pattern, this Maven project in which I have already added all the Selenium jar files. I just need to create, let's see, one class and my class name is, let's see, I'm creating. My class name is, let's see, um, test base class, right? And don't select the main method because this will be a simple base class I'm creating like this. In this particular base class, what I'm doing, a couple of things first to achieve the singleton pattern, I'll create one public static let's see my web driver i'm initializing like this a driver is equal to none okay a driver is equal to null and this web driver i need to import from selenium and uh, what i'll do that uh, okay so let's see i have uh, let me import it again okay it got imported so one web driver equal to null i have created and i'll create one more method let's see public static void let's see init method or initialization method remember that we have created in page object model also or let's see only initialize method is there okay like this you can give any name init method or initialization or whatever the method name you want to give and uh, this method i have written like this in this particular method guys now i have to achieve singleton pattern it's very simple you just need to write one condition if this particular driver so initially let's see we will call this particular method initialize method and we will see that okay if a driver is equal to equal to null if driver is null then what we have to do we have to initialize our driver and we have to initialize our driver with browser either it is chrome driver or firefox driver or internet explorer driver and so on so what happens so if driver equal to equal to null then i'll create one more condition so i'll do one thing that i'll create one more public static variable that is okay let's see a string uh, browser name is equal to in double quotes let's see i'll write chrome browser okay let's see let's hard code you can uh, use it from some uh, constant values on properties also for time being just to understand the concept i'm creating inside a variable that is a string variable and then i'll put one condition that if okay that browser name dot equals we can ignore the case as well maybe sometimes you're writing capital c or small h or small c capital c so equals ignore case if it is equal chrome then what we have to do if it is equal chrome then we have to set the property for google chrome right so we know that how to set the property for google chrome we have to download the uh, chrome driver.exe and we have to set the system property so that code is already with me so let me show you that code where exactly just a minute quickly without wasting our time we will copy paste that code that's it okay so let me paste it over here and instead of this web driver we have already used this driver this driver i'm using and this is the system dot set property that web driver dot chrome dot driver and this is the exe file path okay exe file path for that particular 
okay dot exe file path for that so what i have done that okay if driver equal to equal to null then then and then again i'm checking one more condition and then if browser is equal to chrome then initialize your okay web driver instance is equal to new chrome driver so my new chrome driver will be instantiated same thing i'll do it for let's see i'll just copy this thing and then same thing i'll do it for else if if it is uh, let's see firefox so in that case i have to use geeko driver okay geeko driver.exe and then you need to download geeko driver as well so simple you need to write geeko driver you can download geeko driver okay so right now i'm not going to download this is just for your con okay understanding point of view i'm writing firefox driver okay same thing you can write it for internet explorer as well so let's work upon these two browsers like if browser equal to uh, chrome then fulfill this condition and then firefox and fulfill this condition but on top of that i have written one condition guys that condition name is driver equal to equal to null if your driver is equal to equal to null then only do all these drama right then i'll tell you why this condition will occur when and how to use that what is the advantage of this now similarly i'll do one thing that uh, i'll create uh, uh, two more methods or maybe one more method i can create that the moment we initialize the browser what we have to do now what we have to do that uh, uh, after this we have to use driver dot all the precondition manage dot delete all the cookies driver dot manage dot uh, timeout dot uh, let's see i'm putting some implicitly weight of 20 seconds let's see time unit dot uh, seconds 20 seconds i'm giving and i'm giving some page load timeout also driver dot manage dot uh, timeout dot page load timeout let's see for 30 seconds time unit dot seconds okay so these are the basic things that i have written and then i maximize my browser as well so let's see i'm writing simple driver dot manage dot window dot maximize okay guys so this is the thing that uh, i have written now what i'll do now i'll do one thing that uh, simple i'll create uh, okay let me maximize this so this is the initialize method that i have created after this initialize method what i'll do i'll create one more method let's see public void and uh, quit method okay so public void quit i'll create and simple i'll write one statement that let's see uh, quitting the browser okay and how to quit the browser we know that we will use the same driver driver dot quit and then after that what exactly i'm doing that moment i quit the browser because if you run for multiple test cases i'll design one test case let's say 10 test case after each and every test case i want to close the browser the moment i close the browser i want to make this driver as null also so that other test case okay what exactly if you don't make it null other test case will use the same driver so this is not a good practice if 100 test cases are there all the 100 test cases will be using this the same driver okay that is initialize first time so i don't want to do that what i want the moment your test case is done you close the browser and then do one thing simple you write this thing that uh, a driver is equal to equal to null okay i'll make my driver to null so that the driver is equal to null. i'll make my driver to null so that the moment it quit the browser the driver is gone the driver is closed okay the driver got expired or i would say the web driver session got expired same thing i can do it for uh, uh, quit and close also if you really want to use close so after closing okay so let's see closing the browser driver dot close you can use and again after that driver is equal to equal to one so this is what i have done okay now what i'll do that uh, i'll okay so 
we can remove this hardcoded because I really don't like this hardcoded value. So I'll do one thing that uh, inside this package, I'll create one. Okay, I'll create one. Let's see class. You can mention inside the properties file as well. So let's see. I'll provide that. Uh, constraints class right in which I'll define all the constraints variables over here so I'll do one thing that uh, I'll define this browser name over there okay so let me remove from here I'll define over here public static browser name and uh, we will do one thing this browser name is coming from where so we will use like this constraints dot browser name dot equals like this same thing over here constraints dot browser name like this okay and uh, what else we can do 20 30 you can ignore okay you can remove these hard coded values also in in constant dot java you can provide but let's not waste our time on these things so okay so this is the basic thing that i have done so this is a singleton pattern guys this is singleton singleton pattern says that okay you just need to initialize your web driver only once if web driver is already initialized it will never come inside it and then it will keep continue with your driver so what i'll do then uh, i'll create one test i'll create one package let's see my package name is uh, test package Inside this, I'll simply create a class. Let's see, my class name is. Uh, let's do one thing that uh, you can take any class. Let's see, free CRM. Okay, free CRM test class, and this will be my test ng class. So click on finish. Inside this free CRM test, what I'll do that. Uh, um, I'll define my couple of annotations over here. So let's see my first annotation is uh, at the rate before class annotation. Okay. And inside this at the rate before class, I'll write public void. Let's see that's my setup method. And before class, I'll import it from, okay, I need to add the test change library and then import it from just a minute mm. okay one minute guys let me add okay this change you got added just a minute Okay, I think some problem with my test package. So I'll do one thing. I have deleted that uh, test class from SRC test Java. So let's create inside this SRC main Java only. I'll create my test class. So that's not an issue. Let's see. That is my free CRM test. Okay. And uh, click on finish. Quickly, we will finish this concept. Guys. It's just to okay, make sure that okay, you are able to you are able to get the things so that I've created three basic things one base dot java in which we have uh, okay we have initialize method and then we have constant dot java and then free crm test in this particular free crm test let's see i'll create one annotation that is at the rate before uh, class annotation public let's see void and this is my setup method and system dot out of println quickly inside the setup method let's not write anything I mean let's not print anything first we will initial okay we will import this from test ng now what i have to do from test base i just need to use test base dot okay what we have to do test base dot initialize we have to call something test base dot initialize method what exactly it will call that it will see that okay initialize method first time driver equal to none driver equal to equal to null condition is satisfied if browser name is equal to google chrome it will launch my google chrome right it will launch my google chrome 
with all these capabilities and after that what i have to do that uh, inside the setup initialization is done and uh, i'll write one at the rate after class you can use at the rate before method and at the rate before or after method also you can use guys so simply let's say i'm using public void tear down method and in this particular tear down system i'm i'm simply saying that uh, okay test base dot we have uh, that method that we have created it should be static so that both the method should be static so that we can call by the class name directly okay so let's make it static and test base dot you can see quit i want to quit the browser or you can use close all okay if you want to close it so import this at the rate after class so we have seen close and quit okay difference between close and quit means quit means close entire instance of the web driver if three browsers are there all the three browsers will be closed all the parent and child windows will be closed if um uh, only one browser you want to close only child window you want to close a specific window you want to close in that case the controller will be available on which window that particular window will be closed so we have to use driver dot close in that case so let's not get into that thing so i have created this at the rate before class and at the rate after class and then i'll write one simple test case at the rate test and i'll simply write let's see public void my test case name is uh, let's see Two test cases we will write. First test case is that get or let's see verify free CRM title test right. And this at the rate test annotation I'll import it from here like this. Okay. I'll do one thing that inside this initialization method I'll initialize my after this I'll initialize my driver dot get and then initialize my url as well free crm.com or uh, this free crm.com if you want to put somewhere in your configuration file we can put it inside your constant dot java as well so that we can remove the hard coded value public static string url is equal to this and constant dot url i'll be using over here okay constant dot url cool so this is url is being launched and uh, okay now inside my test case simple initialize method url will be launched and after that what we have to do simple i have to uh, simple what i have to do now so simple we have to do one thing guys that is okay so we know that okay we, how to get the title so we have to get a title so how to get a title driver dot get title so i'll do one thing that i'll use this test base class dot the driver is the right class variable but which is already available over here and the driver is already initialized by initialized method right we have already called this initialize method so what exactly it will return initialize method will okay initialize first time it will see that okay driver equal to equal to none okay and then it will initialize my driver and then this particular driver will be initialized and this test base dot driver i'll be using like this so test base dot driver and dot what is the method name get title is the method name and then i'll store in some string variable let's see string title is equal to this and uh, simple system dot out of print ln i'll write let's see page title is okay i'll print on the console and then simple i'll assert it also assert dot assert equals what is the actual value title and what exactly you are expecting so let's see i'm expecting let me open quickly free crm.com so we will open freecrm.com and uh, we will see the title quickly right click um, view page source and this is the title right and then we will provide inside constant.java so 
So quickly, let me create public static string. I'll write login page title is equal to this, right? And uh, quickly, we will use constant dot login page title and then immediately we will assert it also so now if you run this program what will happen guys first before class method will be executed and your driver will be initialized first time that's it and then once the driver is initialized you just need to use that driver instance that we have created inside the test base class and then test base dot driver dot get title we have to use like this and then write your test case so if you run it let's see what happens so run as test ng and we will see yes browser is getting launched freecrm.com and yes if you see the console it is taking the page title is this one test case quitting the browser and then one test case is this and if you see one test case got passed similarly if you want to write one more test case let's see quickly and write at the rate uh, test public void let's see login test and inside this login test quickly we will do one thing that uh, let's see this is the freecrm.com right or i'll take this logo let's see this logo is having image class equal to image responsive so we will write login instead of login we will write logo test right and then same thing we have to do that test base dot driver the driver is already initialized dot driver dot find element by dot class name and this is your class name and dot is displayed if it is displayed it will return a boolean value right so simple i can write like this assert dot assert equals what is your actual value this is my actual value right and what is your expected value my expected value is that comma true so in single line assert statement i have written the test base dot driver dot find element by dot class name you can store in some boolean variable and then you can compare okay so but uh, in a single line also you can compare like this so i have written two test cases and uh, let's give some priority as well priority is equal to one and uh, priority is equal to two okay and let's run it and then done let's see okay so both the test cases got passed you can see like this both the test cases got passed verify crm title test and logo test both the test cases got passed now you can maintain in at the before class and before method as well that every time you are initializing your okay browser like that also you can write in at the before class the advantage is that that we have initialized only once that particular driver and then every time okay that uh, once the tear down method is done then it will quit the browser simple it will close quit the browser and driver is none will be initialized so let's do one thing let's write with the help of at the rate before method that will be more appropriate so just a minute so now what i have done instead of at the rate before class i'll be using at the rate before method and at the rate after method so the property of before and ma before method and after method we have already seen so many times that before each and every math test method this before method will be executed so your initialize method will be executed it will initialize your web driver and the driver will be initialized perform the get title and then come over here and test base dot quit quit means simple close the browser or quit the browser and driver equal to null now now no one can use this this, this the same driver okay now again it will come to the second test case logo test before that again initialize method will be called again it will see that okay okay driver is already null so again it will initialize your web driver with the help of singleton pattern so guys this is singleton pattern right ultimately the concept here is that we are not allowing anyone to create multiple 
okay uh, multiple instances of this class uh, multiple instances we are not allowing of the web driver okay in our framework so this is a very useful utility that you can use very few useful pattern design pattern generally we use some people they use single drip pattern some people they use page object model design pattern that we have discussed that inside the test space class you just need to create test uh, i mean the web driver instance one ultimately the concept will remain same there also we are just maintaining only one web driver same thing over here also we are maintaining one web driver so this code always remember guys that you need to create one web driver equal to null and you have to check if driver driver equal to if driver equal to equal to null then only you have to do that otherwise no need to do that right so whenever if someone is calling this initialize method once again in between let's see after five lines of test case you're calling this initialize method once again then driver equal to equal to it will check okay driver is not null now so it will not launch your new browser like that so this is like very important concept okay so that's all for today guys that if you uh, let me know if you have any issues so you can put down your comments over there and then if you have any doubts any questions uh, you can write down the comment i'll definitely i'll try to reply over there but uh, this is about singleton design pattern you can do that and on the basis of that you can create some test cases more number of test cases and the complete framework you can design like this okay so that's all for today thank you so much thanks for watching keep watching Naveen automation labs and please subscribe to the channel guys and uh, cool i'll see you in the next topic in the next session thank you so much